Hello and welcome to the Album Man and today we're going to be doing part one of my CD collection from A to D so let's take a look we have ACDC's Back in Black, their classic album with Brian Johnson and this is all in alphabetical order um, and years for bands and ACDC's Black Eyes. Um, I don't have as much ACDC as I should. Surprisingly, I don't have Highway to Hell, even though I do love that album. Adrenaline Mobs Omerta, one of the underrated gems of the year. Aerosmith's Permanent Vacation. Can't say I've listened to this yet. Aerosmith's Big Ones. Um, you know, just a general compilation of the best of, effectively. Um, the Alarm's Strength, probably my favourite Alarm album, you know, Alarm a really good band. Alice Cooper's Trash, featuring the song Poison, this is such a good album, I mean really phenomenal album. Alter Bridge's Blackbird, the second album from sort of supergroup Alter Bridge, Miles Kennedy on vocals. And this is definitely their best album, containing the best song, Blackbird. Oops. Um, AB3, um, Alter Bridge's third album. I don't have the first one yet. Um, the Answers, Everyday Demons. Um, haven't listened to too much of this, but what I've heard, I really like it. Um, Asia's Astra. I'm a big Asia fan, you know, absolutely adore them. Um, so, yeah. But I don't have much else Asia yet, to be honest. Weirdly. Um, Audio Slaved self-titled album with Chris Cornell, the super group of Chris Cornell and um, Tom Morello. Um, Audio Slaves Out of Exile, pick this up cheap in CX. Audio Slaves are a decent super group. Um, Avenged Sevenfold City of Evil, pick this up simply because I like Backcountry from Guitar Hero and this album, yeah, it's not criminal. Avril Lavigne's Under My Skin. Not big Avril Lavigne fan, but some of her earlier stuff is pretty decent. Bad English. Can't say I've listened to this yet. BB King's Live at the Weagle. The classic BB King album. Really is. The um, Starting the Beatles section now. Um, the Beatles Please Please Me. Um, their first album. And I do have every Beatles album, I think. And this should be in order. Um, with the Beatles. A Hard Day's Night. Beatles for Sale. Help. Rubber Soul. Revolver, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Magical Mystery Tour, which even though it doesn't really count as an album, it's one of my favourite Beatles albums, even though it's just a collection of B-sides. It has some classic songs on it. The White Album, Abbey Road, and last but not least, let it be. But I also have um, The Beatles' Yellow Submarine, which is one of my first albums ever. Um, fantastic album, it actually is really good. You know, it's just a soundtrack. And I have Beatles' Past Masters Volume 2, but not Volume 1. I really need to get Volume 1. Then I'll have everything Beatles. Um, I Idol Songs, just a best of Billy Idol. You know. I quite like things like White Wedding. Billy Joel, Street Life Serenade. Can't say I've listened to this yet. Um, Black Label Society's Order of the Black. Fantastic album. That was their last album. Really enjoyed it. Need to get more Black Label Society. Like um, Blessed Hell Word. Alright. Black Sabbath's Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath's Paranoid. Great album. 
Black Sabbath's Heaven and Hell, one of my favourite albums ever, my favourite metal album, certainly. Black Sabbath's Mob Wars. Black Sabbath's Dehumanizer. And that's it for Black Sabbath. I'll have Blackstone Cherries, Folklore and Superstition. We really need to get between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea in the first one. I adore Blackstone Cherry. Essential Blues Anthologies, it's just sort of classic blues, but I was a bit disappointed that this doesn't have Robert Johnson on it. But it has people like John Lee Hooker, BB King, Memphis Slim, Howlin' Wolf, you know, stuff like that. But disappointed it didn't have Robert Johnson. Um, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, Nine Tonight, the probably the best album of theirs. And yeah, I'm not a massive Bob Seger fan, but this is this is a good album, live album. Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet, I was listening to this the other day, it's such a good album. You know, Desmond Child, again, co-writing stuff just like um, on Alice Cooper's Trash. I really do like Desmond Child, and this is such a good album, with like, Living on a Prayer and stuff. Then, Bon Jovi's New Jersey. Bon Jovi's Keep the Faith, and that's it for, I know, got one more Bon Jovi. I have These Days as well. Okay, Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA, I mean, you know, classic album, I have this on vinyl as well. My amazing gold version of Born to Run, I'll just show you that in case you haven't seen it. Very, very cool. It's layered in 24 karat gold and sounds absolutely fantastic and it is a fantastic classic album. Oh, just the power's going to fall. Alright, Bruce Springsteen's The Rising, definitely one of my favourite of his albums, um, about 9-11, fantastic. Okay, Bullet in My Valentine's, The Poison, um, can't say it's particularly good. Ugh, this section, <laughs> Busted's, I can't even remember what this is called, let me see, um, oh, just called Busted, okay. Yeah, the and there's more. I have busted a present for everyone. Do bear in mind I keep these more for nostalgia. I have not listened to this for a long time. And I even have the Thunderbirds busted single. Because I used to love Thunderbirds when I was little. And busted. So when I did a song for it, yeah. I had to have it. Uh, some better music now. Camel's Mirage. Definitely Camel's best album. The 70s prog rockers from the Canterbury scene who are... Always overshadowed by Caravan, and I really need to get some Caravan. And Camel's Breathless, another, another great album from Camel. And that's it from Camel, I'm afraid. Um, the Clash, the single, has been listening to this quite a bit. Yeah, you know, love The Clash. Creed's Weathered, the um, you know the origins of Alter Bridge effectively, but with Scott Stapp on vocals. This is definitely their best album. Um, even though most people would say that this Human Clay is the best album, but no, Weathered is so far superior. It really is. The Darknesses, Permission to Land, Darkness. They are they are a great band. I do like them. And One Way Ticket to Hell, their second album. And I am looking forward to Hot Cakes, and I do want to review that. David Bowie's Aladdin Sane. Don't know why I don't have Ziggy yet, but Aladdin Sane's a good album. David Coverdale's Into the Light, one of his solo albums, even though White Snake is practically a solo band of his. Okay, Deep Purple's Machine Head. The classic album featuring John Lord, who sadly died. And Deep Purple Slaves and Masters. This is a Jolene Turner Deep Purple album. And it's really good, actually. Really good. Def Leppard's U um, Euphoria. I can't say I've listened to this yet. Not a massive Def Leppard fan, but, yeah. Dio's Holy Diver. I really want to get the new remastered this, or maybe even the gold version. Love that album. Dire Straits, Money for Nothing. I think this is just a best of, yeah, it's just a best of Dire Straits, who, um, I'll oh, just burn myself on a light, um, who are pretty good. Um, Don McLean's American Pie, the classic from the 
Folk Rocker. Dragon Forces, um, oh god, what's this called? Inhuman Rampage, that's it. And I'll show you this one, because I did get it, in fact, signed by the band. Except, um, the singer, um, I got it signed by Mark Hudson, the, who didn't even sing on this album, because it's the, um, other guy, I've forgotten his name now. Oh, um, ZP Fiat, isn't it? And so, no, it's signed by Mark Hudson instead of him, but the rest of the band still very cool. And I have Dragon Forces to Power Within, their latest album. And again, I'll just show you this because it is, in fact, signed. And as you can see, signed by all the bands who played on it, which is really cool. Um, I went to a signing in, like, I think it was Manchester. I did on release. Okay. Then we move into Dream Theater, one of my favorite bands ever, and we have Dream Theater's Images and Words. Uh, first down with James Lebray. Dream Theater's Awake, which is massively overweighted. Um, it's all right, but not their best. Dream Theater's Change of Seasons EP, which features their best song, A Change of Seasons, and some pretty decent covers. Well, they're very good, but I tend to prefer originals more than covers. Dream Theater's Once in a Lifetime, which is a great live album. Dream Theater's Falling into Affinity, the f only Dream Theater album to feature Derek Sherini, and the, who is fa the fantastic Black Country Communion keyboardist, um, as a full album. He was on Change of Seasons as well, though. Dream Theater's Magnus Opus, Metropolis Part 2, Scenes from a Memory. Fantastic album. And then the live version of that, Live Scenes from New York, um, which is again fantastic. And it also features, it features um, Change of Seasons live as well, which is fantastic. Dream Theater's Train of Thought, which is probably the heaviest album. It's interesting. Dream Theater's Octavarium. Systematic Chaos, which features two of my favourite Dream Theater songs ever. Um, Dark Eternal Night and Forsaken. Yeah. The last Dream Theater album to feature the amazing Mike Portnoy, Black Clouds and Silver Linings. And then the first album to feature Mike Mangini, a Dramatic Turn of Events, which is my second favourite album of last year, and is a fantastic album. So yeah, this is just A to D of my collection. As you can see, this is going to, you know, not be short. It's already 13 minutes just for A to D. So yeah. So um, yeah, this has been The Album Man. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And as usual, long live rock and roll.